I get those goosebumps every time yeah. you come around, yeah. You ease my mind, you make everything feel fine. Worry about those comments, I'm way too numb, yeah. This way too dumb, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need that heart, throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you not around, man, throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. Seven, one, three. You do it when you're mine, yeah. Why they on me? Why they on me? I'm flying, yeah. Zipping low key. I'm zipping low key and I'm just rider, rider. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah.
Okie dokie. Testing. Turn me up. Hello. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, I'm working on some embroidery tonight. Um, shh, there's my water. It's like, where did my water go? So, I got this kit um, from my mother-in-law for Christmas, and it came with uh, three, um, three Van Gogh uh, like parts from Starry Night. And uh, I started with one. I have a knot in my um, my thread here, so I'm just gonna work on getting that out real quick. Done. All right. Let's see if we can do this. So this is my officially first ever embroidery piece. Um, I started this. I'd say just after Christmas. Um, I think in the week between Christmas, Christmas and New Year's. Um, so I started it. And uh, some days I get to work on it a little more, and some days I don't. Or I should say, some days I take the time to work on it, and other days I don't. Like today I sat for a little bit and uh, worked on it. Maybe like an hour. Oh my gosh, it's got all sorts of twisted and looped. One little knot right there now. There we go. All right. So how's everybody doing tonight? I am doing okay. I had an interview this morning. I adjust my camera so you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Um, so I had an interview this morning. It went really well. I should hear something back probably in like two weeks week and a half to two weeks. Um, and that'll be if I make it to the next like round of interviews. Uh, there is three total interviews that I would have to do for this. So today was the first one and then if I'm selected uh, in the top, I think she said f three or five. Um, then I'll do this the second and third round of interviews, which would be, um, I don't know if it's like the same process or if there's like a new, um, I mean, I was, assuming, assuming there'd be like a new set of questions and stuff, but we'll see. All right, why, why are you, why are you like this? No. for a second. I've got string everywhere. And these are knotted again. This this thread is giving me some problems. I 
I don't think this is the one that knotted up a ton earlier. If I had one. I think I got it. Oh, don't. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna put this guy over here for now. Get get out of the way. What color is this? Is this, this is five, right? Okay. You can kind of see here dangling off the edges all my all my strings. Like I said, this is a kit, so I'm just following. There's like some really bad instructions that I'm following. Um, I say bad because they're not very uh, descriptive. Like it just kind of tells you what colors to do, but it doesn't say it's like you should do it in like a certain order. Or if that matters, I don't know. It also says to use six strands, um, but I like the four strands look better in some cases. So, hmm. NASA! Strinkles! Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing some strings. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you as well. I was just saying I had my interview this morning. It went pretty well. Um, so if I make it to the next round, uh, then there's two more interviews I'll have to do. Um, if I make it, you know, if I'm like the top tap candidates one of the top so although they did say you know I was the first one today well the first one that they've interviewed and they said I set the bar pretty high so I was like yeah I did <laughs> because I'm kind of an awesome person just saying even though I was super nervous like, I'm. At the beginning, I thought I was gonna barf. <laughs> and you see, I totally hosed that up right there. I caught a string under something, and I don't know. There's just this. Just ignore this cluster. Alright. So, how's it going, Nessa? How's your week going so far? I know it's only Tuesday, but you know. Hang on, I gotta adjust my lamp real quick. It's too close. And he's bumping my arm. Just gonna slide it around there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna move this magnet here. See if that's better. Uh-oh, are you feeling sick? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oof, that sounds pretty nice, actually. Napping? Mm. Take one for me. <laughs> So I was saying too that this is this is officially my first my first ever embroidery. Um so I'm learning. What the heck happened? Hmm, okay. Hell, the message. Ugh. We got a car accident. Oh no. Ugh. I can see that. Yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry. That sucks. It's not a good way to start a weekend. 
Hope you're still able to like relax and have fun despite that. Ow! Poke myself. I will say I've poked myself a couple times, but not hard enough to bleed yet. So I think that counts as a win. Yeah, that snowboarding uh, looks really fun. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I like I like skiing better than snowboarding. I sucked at snowboarding when we did it. I mean, I was like 13 maybe. But I was terrible at it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, last time we did snowboarding, well, the, the one time I've done snowboarding, I was super terrible at it. But I do enjoy skiing. One day I will go again, hopefully. I was going to be going next week up to South Carolina uh, to see my grandmother. Um, but she had a mild heart attack on, technically on Friday, I guess, um, sometime like Friday night. Um, and she's okay. She's just, she's in her, like a rehab place now though. So, um, well she's at the hospital now and then they're going to be moving her to like a rehab place. Um, but because of that, obviously we can't go see her because there's like COVID restrictions and stuff. Um. So that trip is postponed because we were going to be driving up on the 27th through the 30th because she hasn't met my son yet. Um, so I'm kind of bummed, but you know, it happens like can't really control that. Um, and she has, you know, like she's, as I was trying to explain to somebody earlier, she's not in poor health, but she's not in good health. Um, like she has diabetes and it's not very well managed and, um, you know, like she's, she's always like falling and like, you know, getting hurt and, you know, just like small things. Um, but because of that, like I said, she's not in like great health. Um, you know, so she's always in and out of, like, little rehab centers and stuff to, like, you know, because she f falls and, like, you know, gets banged up or whatever. Um, and then, like, I guess, what's the 21st, whatever day that is, so Friday, she was supposed to be getting, like, a, like, a stint thing or whatever put in her back for pain, so I don't know if she's still getting that done. Um, you know, so it's just, like, lots of little little things but yeah she's from what my mom said you know because my mom talked to her today she's recovering okay but she said not to not to come up because um, we wouldn't really be, be able to see her that much um, you know and the whole reason to go is so that she can get to meet my son and now she's not my like biological grandmother or I mean really technically she's you know, by all accounts, quote unquote, nothing. Um, you know, like no relation because her and my grandfather actually had divorced uh, a while ago, and then he's since passed away. Um, but you know, sh they were married from when I was, you know, little. You know, before I was born even, and by all accounts, you know, she's my grandmother. And I talked to her more than I ever talked to my grandfather because my grandfather basically after my wedding like disowned us for whatever reason after my dad passed away and I got married he was like you know those kids in Florida you know me and my brother aren't you know they aren't anything so I was like okay cool <laughs> thanks thanks grandpa and I'm not saying this is like two three years later this is apparently like several months right after my wedding which he came to, by the way. So, don't know. I was like, okay, well, I won't be planning any trips up there. Yeah, I guess, I don't know the exact circumstances, 
but I guess they were like him and my I want to say my aunt I think my mom is, said it was my aunt um, you know my dad's sister and my cousin they were going through some of his stuff and trying to figure out like will stuff you know because he is, he was older and he, at the time I think he'd recently had some um, like recent medical stuff and I think he said something about I'm gonna make sure I leave everything to the two grandkids I think he's because I don't think he considers the other one either a grandkid so for reference you know, my mom married my dad and had me and my brother. My dad had a brother and a sister. His brother, like, kind of left the family for a while. Um, got married, had a kid, and then adopted a kid. And then my brother's sister, so my aunt, had, they had one kid. So in total, there's two, two, and one. So there's five total, like, grandkids. Well, he apparently never claims or, or claims that the adopted, you know, my, my adopted cousin is not one of his grandkids. And then, you know, after my wedding, decided that my brother and I aren't, weren't family. <laughs> this is like, because I guess, you know, like I said, he made some kind of comment like, yeah, those kids in Florida, me and my brother, aren't, aren't family. I was like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> right? Yeah, my aunt was pissed, apparently. Called and told my mom, like, by the way, you know, just so you know. I was like, wait, what? Why? What did we ever do? Like... <laughs> have that much energy to be that pissed off at people. <laughs> at least not for long term. My anger comes very, very short. I don't know. I guess when you're retired, maybe you have more time for that. But yeah. My guess is it's because we're still in contact with his ex-wife, you know, my grandmother, who I was going to go see. I'm guessing that might be why, you know, because I invited her to the wedding, because by all accounts, I consider her my grandmother. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, just, can I be retired so I can have that much time? I won't be salty, I'll just, like, I don't know watch Golden Girls and embroider, listen to true crime podcasts, and, you know, embroider. Can I just do that? that that'd be fun, right? <laughs> it's alright. I mean, when he, he passed away a couple years ago, um, I was never close with my dad's side of the family because they, they live up in South Carolina. So, um, you know, we've never been super, super close with them anyways. Um, and when he passed away, I actually went to the funeral, or, or the, I guess it would be the burial, not really the funeral, but, um, cause he got buried literally 15 minutes from my house, um, which fun fact, it is the same, um, uh, cemetery where Bob Ross, the one, the only Bob Ross is also buried. Um, uh, we did not see his grave that day though, cause we are doing other stuff um but yeah so like we went and my my aunt my aunt and uncle and my cousin drove down from South Carolina you know it's like a six hour drive seven hour drive I think they're from Charleston so I think it's like seven close to seven almost eight hours um so they drove down for it they were staying right around the corner, but they didn't want to go to dinner or, you know, anything. Like, no no extra contact with us, me, my brother, no, nothing. It's like, okay, that's cool. Fine. Well... 
whatever. Whatever. I don't know you. Like I said, not really close with that side of the family anyways. Um, we've always been slightly closer to my mom's side of the family. But that's, that is also changing. Families are hard, y'all. Yeah. Aaron messaged me. Hang on one second. Let me make sure this isn't something important. Importante. Why is it? Oh, okay. Oh, I should probably share that link. Let me let me grab the link for anybody who has not heard about it or signed up for it. I want to drop a link. You USPS is giving away uh, four. It's four free at-home tests if you sign up uh, to be mailed out like end of this month, I think. So like next week probably. Um, I figured why not go ahead and. You know, if you haven't signed up yet, get get you get you some testings. Probably, oh, wouldn't hurt to have them on hand. Um, you know, just in the case you get get spooked, start feeling sick or whatever. So, anybody who's interested, that's the link. I do not work for the USPS or anything. I have no affiliation. I just think it's really good that they're giving out some free tests, especially for like me down in Florida where it's so hard to get tested right now. Um, right after New Year's, I mean, there was like no tests available anywhere um, unless you were willing to wait like six plus hours in line. So uh, to me, that's pretty cool. And you couldn't find them in stores anywhere. They just were completely out everywhere. So yeah. Otherwise, not a whole heckin' lot is going on here. Um, I am going to be streaming a... Uh, tabletop game on Saturday on my channel uh, I will be running a Numenera one shot uh, from the earlier so if you guys are interested in checking that out that'd be awesome if you could pop in say hey um, show some love all that good stuff and then on Sunday I'm gonna be playing in a uh, so we're starting a Star Wars uh, revised edition campaign where we're all playing Ewoks and I'm playing an Ewok tech specialist. So we're playing that Sunday night over on the Goat Gaming Syndicate channel um, which I can get a link to here in a minute if anybody's interested but I'll be doing that on Sunday night. Pretty hyped about that. I got my uh, Sword of Cosplay ready. Um, which, if you're not in our Discord, that's where I posted a picture of of it, and it is it's pretty fantastic. I made it out of a pillowcase, a an old happy birthday headband, and a decapitated teddy bear, um, and then some hot glue, <laughs> because obviously. And then as far as like podcasts go, I've been listening to, I, I finished The Teacher's Pet. Very good, by the way. If you guys have not listened to it and you're into true crime, definitely recommend that one. Um, it's it's a lot, but it's, it's really good. Um, 
and then uh, I started one that Ms. Gloom recommended called Man in the Window about the Golden State Killer. So, just started that one. Well, I shouldn't say just started. I'm like on episode like six, I think, and there's like ten, I think. Um, but yeah. So, that's what I've been listening to. What have we been watching? We've been watching um, Book of Boba Fett and um, we started watching okay, so there's a podcast that I listened to I don't know, a while ago. Sorry, I'm like way off camera. Uh, called Archive 81. And they recently started doing, or they uh, released a show on Netflix that's based off of it. So we watched the first episode of that. It's pretty good. It's an audio drama, the podcast. Um, it's kind of spooky. Kind of weird. Um, so if, if you're into like weird, spooky audio dramas, Archive 81. There's another one I listened to a lot, like at the same time, called The Deep Vault. Um, which was also really good. So, that's what we're watching. We watched... What movie did we watch the other day? We watched, on my birthday last week, we watched The Colony on Netflix. It was terrible. Um... It was so slow. Uh, it just, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. Um, so I would not recommend that one. The concept sounded really cool, but yeah, once we started watching, I was, uh, just didn't do it for us. Uh, what else? What else are we watching? I think. I think there's more we're watching. really exciting going on here. I tell you guys, I don't live a very exciting life. Um, we're looking for a daycare for the little man. That's, that's been a thing. Ooh. Nice. Taurus sock. So, are these just like regular socks, or are these like custom ones that she ordered? Do you do custom socks? One more time. Okay, gotcha. All you people where it's cold. You wear socks. Weirdos. I have socks on right now, but they are literally like the little, what you call them, crew cut socks or whatever. They're like short. <laughs> yeah. That's why you gotta make gifts for people without them knowing about it. Because then they have no say in it. And you just give them whatever color you, you decide. <laughs> I 
I've got so many gift projects in the works right now. I'm a bad monkey, and here I am doing this. <laughs> Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. My, okay, so my motivation lately has been really, really low. And I am super psyched, though, because the new Pokemon game is coming out. And I'm, like, so ready for it. <laughs> So I'm going to have to make sure I get, like, ahead on, like, anything that's productive so that when it comes out and I throw everything by the wayside to play Pokemon, I won't feel bad about, you know, not completing my 9 million. I made a project book. Hold on. Hold on. My project book. Look at this. Look at this. Projects 2022. See? See? Projects 2022. Right? These are all my projects that I currently either have in progress, see, present for sale, commission, gaming, out school, and then I have in, in progress, complete, or sold. Um, these are all the ones that I have that are either in progress or like on the back burner to be done um, that I want to complete this year. So make sure I don't show off couple but I have like this one that I'm doing the quilled Van Gogh Starry Night it's for my mom you know it's the, the picture the framed I'm gonna try to get it done by Mother's Day skip the Pokemon paintings that I was working on I want to finish at least the starter and and their um, evolutions Van Gogh embroidery which I'm working on right now Oh no, this is my Numenera one-shots. So, and it's like, it's different stuff. So it's gaming and other stuff. So some of this is less project-y and more just tracking. Um, you know, so like, these are all gaming related. Uh, the out school. And then, so. Yeah, I try it and I keep it right here. Like it's literally right next to my keyboard. Um and I figure, you know what, if I can knock out because right now I have one. So that one's gotta be done. I've got one that I need to finish by next month. I'll send you a picture on a, a Discord. Oh, I mailed your thing. Did you get your thing in the mail yet? I mailed it on Saturday. I mailed it on Saturday. Um, your your prints, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. They actually didn't tell me how long it would be, so I don't know. Um, and I don't know where I put the receipt. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I forgot. Yesterday was the. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Martin Luther King Day? Martin Luther King Jr. So, yeah. Uh, it's through... I think it went through UPS. Um, I think. Yeah, because I went to the UPS store. And they wouldn't send it USPS through the UPS store.
Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just like an envelope. Um, like a padded envelope, so something fancy. Because I sent stuff to you. And I sent stuff to um, Sun Skull Dream, and he, who uh, joined our Discord not too long ago. She won some prints, and then um, I sent some stuff over to Miss um, Gloom. So I sent all that out on uh, Saturday. What happened here? I don't know. This, like, just chilling. I don't know. I hope you like this stuff. It's not as fancy, like, uh, packaging as, like, Lily does, you know, because I'm not, I'm not, like, a pro. Uh, so, you know. Lily's packaging is, like, goals. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy high bar. Like, seriously. I think the first time I got something from her, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, this is, like, shipping goals. Like, I want to... I want to be cool. Can I be cool? Dang it. This string I didn't... Or thread I didn't, like, smooth out. Well, good. Don't, don't hold me to it, because, you know... Just some some basic basic packagings, but it has your name on it and your address, so you know. <laughs> it's gotta count for something, right? Oh man! So what else you got going on this week? Anything exciting? I have. 15 month appointment for little man tomorrow therapy on Thursday which I need to call tomorrow dang it I almost forgot I gotta call them because they text I was supposed to be face to face and they text me and they're like you have a telehealth appointment on Thursday I'm like no I signed up for a face to face appointment what's this bullshit Oh, poor crash yeah, I need to schedule Sophie's annual stuff. Uh, she's not due till ra for rabies till next year. Because we did the, like, three-year shot or whatever. So she's got another year. Yeah. She is really good at the vet, surprisingly. She just makes super, super sad face. Just takes it like a champ. Sorry, it keeps like sliding over to the side. Probably because where my lamp is at, or my light. It's not in the way, but it's not not in the way. Stab. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. Do you like getting your temperature taken that way? Actually, I don't need to know. You know what you're into? That's That's cool. That's you. You do you, man. <laughs> but yeah, Sophie Sophie just like makes the saddest little face like, "Why do you why do you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? I'm a good dog." And it's like, "We know you're a good dog. This is for your own good, I promise." And she's just like, but, but why, mother? Why?
Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if he's... Little man's supposed to get more vaccinations tomorrow. I hope not. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Vet techs are a little strange sometimes, though. Good people, but definitely a little strange. Yeah, Sophie's not much of like a liquor, so that's really good because, um, yes, that is true. I do relate to that aspect. Let's be honest, dogs are better people anyways. Cats are pretty good too, but dogs are definitely better people. Yeah, otherwise this week is actually pretty, pretty chill. Um, like I said, I got the, his appointment tomorrow, my appointment on Thursday. Um, I don't think I have anything planned on Friday. What's the date on Friday? I feel like I do, but I don't, I can't think of what it is. Hang on. Friday. No, I got nothing planned on Friday. So nothing on Friday, the new Monera on Saturday, book club, and a Star Wars stream on Sunday. Hype. So, be doing those, and then, um, I think Monday we might tentatively be going to my in-laws uh so my so my husband's aunt and uncle live in california and they're flying down to his mom's house and they get in sunday night it's super late and then they're like renting a car and stuff and then i think they're staying there for like a night or two and so they also haven't met our son. So we may go over for like just the day or something on, on Monday. And, or maybe like stay one night or something and then come back. Because my husband still has to work. So he just might work remote. He's He's got to figure out what logistically we can do. Um, since I'm not going to South Carolina now. Um, so we might do that. And then I might end up going, I may still go over to my mom's for like a day or two. I don't know, we'll see. She's like, do you still want to maybe come over for like a day or two so I could could see David? Because nobody wants to see me. They want to see my son. He's a meatball. God, he's such a handful. Oh my gosh. He, <laughs> I'll have to share one of the videos in the Discord. Um, so he has discovered spinning around and getting dizzy and thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> um, 
So today he kept just like randomly spinning in circles until he'd get dizzy and fall over and just start cracking up. <laughs> it was really adorable. I know I'm biased. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he was having a blast doing that. I was cracking up because it just... He would, like, look at me and just start laughing and, and twirling in circles and then get super, super dizzy and fall over. <laughs> or, like, start walking and slam into a wall. <laughs> and I'm like, y you're a goofball. Oh, my goodness. So. That was my day. I was watching that play out. I'm hoping this thread can finish up this little part here. I want it to get another piece because I still have to do this little bit here with the same color. And I don't want to break up a whole nother like thread. Oh, I'll have to break up a whole nother thread. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. Let's see what's going on in my world. Not a whole lot else going on here, really. Just been working on this, listening to podcasts, you know. I have been, um... So I don't know if any of you guys have used Bumble, Bumble BFF, or there's, I guess, a dating version, and there's also, like, a networking version. I'm using just, like, the friend version. Uh, but I've been talking to a couple, couple cool ladies on there, so trying to, you know, maybe find a couple more local friends that I can hang out. Okay. Yeah, I'm using, like, the friend, the Bumble BFF. So, there's a couple couple cool girls I'm talking to on there. Um, I've met, so, what was it, 2019? Which feels like forever ago. Um, I met a girl on there uh, who's pretty cool. Um, but we didn't super, super click. Like, we kind of did, but not super, super. Um, so I wound up going to, like, her birthday, you know, because I think when we met it was, like, I would say it was, like, March or April, maybe, and, um, her birthday was in, you know, like, June or something. I feel it was, like, June, like a summer birthday. Anyway, so we went to her birthday, uh, me and my husband, and, uh, she had a bunch of people there. It was, you know, we had, like, did karaoke, there was, like, um... Like, you know, tons of food, you know, just hanging out with, meeting a whole bunch of people. It was pretty cool. Um, and a couple of the girls that I actually met at her party, I clicked with real, like, a lot better. So that's actually, um, three of those girls <laughs> are the, the three other girls in our book club. In, in the book club in, I'm in. So, which, by the way, the latest book we read, the one that's for this month, um, The Puma Years definitely recommend if you're looking for like a good book to read um i really liked it so it's a uh, about a girl that is like traveling the world just trying to figure out like herself and uh she winds up in bolivia at a sanctuary like a wild animal sanctuary where they have like you know pumas and monkeys and freaking you know jaguars and whatever and um she gets assigned to a puma to like look after and take care of 
and it's kind of just like about you know her story about being there um I don't know. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's by Laura... Laura Coleman, I think is her name. I want to say that's the name. It's either Laura or Lauren Coleman. Um, super, super recommend. I did find when I was trying to use... Oh, gotcha. I have not... <laughs> okay. So I've not had any, any, any women on there have tried to like hit on me or anything, thankfully. Um, not that like I'd be opposed to that, it'd just be like a little awkward, like, oh, my bad. Um, but, uh, my, f so I have, I'm still friends with one of my ex-boyfriends, right? And he, I, I told him about the app, whatever, and he signed up for it, and he's like, oh yeah, I've met a whole bunch of people, you know, yeah, it's really cool, thanks for letting me know, and then, like, the next time I talked to him, he goes, so I stopped using the app, and I'm like, oh yeah, why, he's like, well, um, so I was talking to a dude on there, he seemed pretty cool, you know, it was, like, asked me if we wanted to hang out, we went out a couple times, got a couple beers or whatever, I'm like, okay, sounds about right, he goes, and then, one of the nights I was like, I got off work early and I told him, and he's like, oh, cool. <laughs> do you want to come over and like do things with my girlfriend? And basically not a threesome, just have fun with his girlfriend while he watched. I was like, wait, what? He goes, yeah, I'd only been to like, on like, you know, gone out and grabbed drinks, like, twice with this dude. <laughs> it's not like... <laughs> I was like, wow. That's... Okay. Well, he goes, yeah, so, um... Yeah, I stopped using the app because, uh, that weirded me out just a little bit. <laughs> Surprise! Come over and, uh, yeah. Do things with my girlfriend. And it, it was, like more explicit than that like apparently he was asking like a lot of things on there there were also a lot of a ton of couples on the women seeking women half ooh yeah no 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 yeah when I first signed up for it I was a little hesitant like oh, I hope that if I'm just using the friend side like, I don't start getting, and I've mostly, I mean, I haven't had any, any, um, like, none of the women have, like, hit on me or anything like that. It's all been, like, obviously, like, they're just looking for, like, girls to go out and, like, you know, grab lunch with or, like, run to Target with, you know, have, like, what you call it, um, like, baby play dates, stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. I don't have to, I don't have to do any of these, like, whoa, whoa, thank you, but no thank you. I think the strangest, um, proposition, I guess you could say, Miss Gloom, we're basically married, okay? Virtually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're talking about Bumble BFF, uh, and, and just like weird, weird encounters on it and stuff. Um, but one of the time, this wasn't, this is way, 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 way before Bumble, um, or before I was on Bumble, I should say. I don't know if it existed. I don't know how long it's been around. But, um, my cousin was dating a, a lady his lady friend and they'd been dating month two months maybe you do yay um but yeah they'd been dating a little while and it was one of the parties we were at or whatever uh, at his place and she like pulls me aside and she's like hey like you know if you ever wanted to like join me and joey you know, like, that'd be totally cool with me. And I'm like, 
Wait, what? Um, mind you, he's not blood related cousin. He's like a step cousin or whatever. But, but yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm like, for, for what? And she's like, you know, if you ever want to like join us, and I'm like, ah, uh, dude, this is this is my cousin. Like, I literally at Christmas we were playing Pokemon like three months ago. I, uh, I'm, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> so that's that's yeah that's where I've been asked nope I was like thanks but no thank you I'm I'm gonna pass that that's my cousin um I know we're not blood related but hear me out literally like you know sat on my grandmother's couch playing Pokemon a couple months ago at Christmas. It's gonna be a hard pass, my man. Hard pass. Um, I don't know if he was in on it or, or knew or not, to be fair. Caster of Curses, welcome on and hello. We're just talking about weird encounters, uh, like when my cousin's girlfriend asked me to join them in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, and I politely declined. Um, so I gotta do the, the dark blue on this, this little bit here. Which means I gotta get another piece of string. This is five. But how are you doing, Caster of Curses? How's your week going so far? I know it's only Tuesday, but you know, the hardest is behind us, which is Monday. Unless you're like NASA, who slacked off yesterday. Just kidding, NASA. Yeah, yeah, my, my cousin's girlfriend just went for it and I was like, mmm. No. <laughs> Just getting through the work days. All right, NASA. I'll, I'll. You didn't slack. You skied. My bad. I want to go skiing, man. What did I do yesterday? I. I worked on my embroidery stuff. I worked on this. Oh, I made my cosplay yesterday. Oh. Boop. Uh, yeah, I made my, uh, on Sunday, for those of you who have missed, dang it, the announcements, um, sorry, I'm trying to separate this thread. On Sunday, I'm going to be playing in a Star Wars Revised Edition game on the Goat Gaming Syndicate channel. Oh, knocking things over. Hold up a second. What's up? So you remember when I did the firing test on the, the kiln and made it go basically as hot as it possibly could? Yeah. I may have blown up those paper bricks that I had in there. Oh. Yeah, like, uh, legit. What? Yeah. Is, is that just dust? Yes. And, and like little pebble rocks. Is this the first time you've opened it since you did yes. that? Yes. Oh, I, no, I thought you'd opened it. Oh, I guess you only cracked it. Yeah, to let like the heat cool. out. Yeah. So I'm guessing maybe when I did that, like it like shock cooled it. Oh, uh, like, and pulverized it. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> the only thing I could think of. <laughs> yeah, because I hadn't actually looked in since then. Um, Are you out there forging or something right now? No, I was putting the refactory cement on the forge. Uh, so on that's the what, forge or the furnace? The, the furnace. Oh, okay. Say. I was putting it on the furnace, and I had finished that, so I was like, you know, since I still have everything out, because I knew there were a couple, like, chunks missing out of the kiln in yeah. the bottom, so I was like, all right, I'll just pop the lid off and put it in there. I was like, oh, at first, I thought, I was like, oh, shit, did, like, the bottom of the, the lid fall out? Yeah. And then I, I clear everything off, and I'm like, no, this is perfectly fine. In fact, it looks cleaner than it has ever looked before, because it was basically like a cleaning cycle on the oven. Yeah, you just burnt everything yes. to a crisp. Yes, including the bricks. 
They were in so, I don't remember what bricks were in there, though. They're like those red pavers that we have. The, um, like the ones that we use for, like, a bordering stuff. Uh, oh. Yeah. Because that's not red anymore, either. <laughs> no. I mean, if you looked at it, you could see they're, like, red tint. Oh, okay. But, uh, but not, 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 not anymore. anymore. No, no. Nothing yeah. for saving. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... It, it was just you, straight up dust. And, and like very tiny pebbles. And what are you going to do with this dust that you've I made? I already sucked it up and put it in the trash. Oh, okay. Yeah. After you shot back to the wall. Okay. <laughs> so what did we learn? Uh, the bricks can't stand getting to 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. And then cooling down rapidly, possibly. It could have been that, or it could have just been the heat. It could have just been the heat. I don't really know. Didn't <laughs> actually inspect it. <laughs> They're talking about you in the chat. <laughs> Husband exploder of bricks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, lesson learned. Use actual fire bricks uh, the next time I need to get it up that hot. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. So. Where do you get those from? Uh, Home Depot sells some. Those okay. are more like fireplace bricks. Yeah. But it should be fine because most fireplaces are rated, I think, up to like 2,000 degrees. Okay. So the kiln will never get. I'm never going to take it up that high. I hope I'm not because it will operator. melt our freaking outlets again. It, it, it drew a little too much power. A little? A little. A just, little? Just a little. Is that outlet even usable anymore? Yeah. Okay. No, I, I just, it looked melted, so. No, it's fine. It, it's still very easy. Okay. The problem was the continuous pulling. If it oh, had, just gone up and came back down. Well, not even that. If it had like ramped up over a longer period of time, yeah. where it, it's able to like kind of pulse the power, it would give it a chance to to cool down. The problem is it was just straight up pulling uh, twenty amps <laughs> for like four or five hours. Yeah. So. Gotcha. That's why. Basically okay. redlining the whole time. I mean, that's what kind of This is how like. we burn the house down. No. no. <laughs> Just pulverize bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Fun hobbies require dangerous tools. Yes, yes, yes. Supposedly. Well, I'm going to go back to uh, non-dangerous hobby of embroidery. I mean, get tetanus from that shit. <laughs> Nothing. I have my shots. Thank you very much. Poke because I got bit by a dog, remember? <laughs> you poke an eye out with that needle. Yeah, well, I'm not running around with it or spinning in circles until I fall over. Well, I'm here for color commentary for your fans. Okay. Well, they enjoyed it. <laughs> they say hi. Hello. <laughs> Husband exploder of bricks, exactly. So, husband's craft room is the garage um, and part of his office. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Again, okay. So, uh, for for reference, what happened is uh, we have a we have a one or two kilns. I don't remember if we have two. One might just be an addition, um, but we have a kiln, and this is probably like a month ago. He uh, plugged it in and basically just did a test to see how hot it would go like how how fast it would heat up how hot it would go how long it would sustain that temperature stuff like that and it basically partially melted the outlet um but apparently there was like paver bricks on the inside of it and he showed me the picture and it was just dust like they just pulverized to dust Um, I mean, you're not wrong about blowing things up and becoming, like, a not Florida man. Uh, like, that's pretty much a requirement. <laughs> and yes, it could be fit. That's why he's saying that, like, I could get tetanus. <laughs> Are you going to bed? No. Oh. My ears were burning. Oh, yeah, because I was talking, talking about you. Yeah. Or because you plugged something in that was too hot. <laughs> no. I'm not talking shit about you. 
We were talking about where your um your workshop is that's in the garage and partially in your office because that's where three D printers are. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because that's where you work. <laughs> But you can call it a workshop if you want. <laughs> they said they are talking shit about you, but with love. <laughs> Just a smidge. <laughs> and in an affectionate way. Yes, yes. Shirt talking. Shirt talking. <laughs> yes, yes. I have the craft room. He has the workshop and the office. Yep. Well, don't do that. Remember not to touch hot metal. <laughs> he got a forge, so he's a uh, blacksmithing. And he has a furnace, so he can also blacksmith metal work of metaling. I know. Melting and casting versus forging, yes. But yeah, he's he's been heating metal and banging it very hard with a hammer. <laughs> he's smiling, <laughs> just in case anybody needs though. He has a big shit eating grin. I'm glad you didn't see the, the pelvic thrust. So <laughs> oh no, I can't actually see because you're you're, you're below. That's you no, because you're below the edge of my monitor. Oh, you were saying yeah, he's banging things, and I was going. Oh no, I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, yes. Yeah, no, couldn't see that <laughs> because the top half didn't move. <laughs> he was doing pelvic thrusts. <laughs> now I can kind of tell because I can see your arms swinging. It's all, it's all on the hips. It's all on the hips. The hips don't lie. <laughs> Flower, welcome in. It's so metal, exactly. Yeah, he's made, um, uh, like a spoon. This is gonna sound weird, but he basically took a big wrought iron, uh, a piece of wrought iron, and I'll show you. Eh. Oh. And it goes like this. It has, like, spoon, and then, like, that. It's, like, a long handle. And he has, like, kind of, like, a hook thing on this end. And it's like a, you know, like one of those like, steel, not right iron, but yeah. Um. <laughs> so it's got like a spoon like that. Um, and that's for, like this is for, you can use it to like lift the lid on, on stuff. And then this is for like scooping dross and whatnot. Make that so you can see it. And then he started making a... see that. See, see that. Started making a um like a fire poker. Was the next thing he was starting. Alright, Miss Gloom, thanks for hanging out. Good night. Go get some sleeps. Some good sleeps. What I don't even know what time it is. Oh it's only ten o'clock. Okay, cool. Na na Um but yeah so he started doing that. And that's his new hobby. This is my new hobby. And as I was saying, it's much, much lower risk of like blowing things up or, you know, injury. Maybe some blood sacrifice, but that's about it. Ba ba ba. Night night. Good night, wifey. Have a good night. <laughs> uh, how'd the rest of your cross stitching go, Flower? Yes, yes, the blood sacrifice. I was saying earlier that I've poked myself a couple times, but I haven't poked myself hard enough to bleed yet. So I'm gonna count that as a win. Because, you know. Yeah, no. Blood for the blood god!
Yay, that's awesome. So I'm doing, this is um, part of Starry Night. And I was explaining earlier that this is a kit that my mother-in-law got me. So it's got some kind of bad instructions. <laughs> And I don't, they're not terrible. It just doesn't have very much descriptions. It just says like what colors you use. And then like what kind of stitch. I don't know if that's what you, I guess you call it a stitch. Yeah. Um. Oh, community time. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so this is like what I've started. And this is uh, my first time ever doing embroidery. So, oh, Animal Crossing. Another fellow Animal Crossing person. I haven't played it in ages, but I am hyped because the new Pokemon game comes out next week, y'all. My husband pre-ordered it for me for my birthday. My birthday was last week, but ow, that's what I got for my birthday. So I'm hyped. Ah, oh, no, that's no fun. Boo, I'm sorry, community time. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, Miss Gloom, who just uh, left here a little bit ago, she does the cross stitching. Um, and she does some embroidery. I think she does more cross stitching, though. I mean, I know she does, definitely does more cross stitching. I don't know how much embroidery she's done. Um, and she kept trying to get me to try out this stuff, so I put a couple of these on my wish list. And my mother-in-law picked me up a kit for Christmas. So, I'm giving it a go. I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I mean... No worries, Flower. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you for popping in after your stream. Make sure you post pictures on the Discord of your stuff. So we can check it out and we can all ooh and all. Oh wow, you you also do um uh community, do you do um knitting or crocheting? Look, see I'm trying to remember the terms. Do you use one stick or two? <laughs> You knit or crochet. Yeah. And then my brother got me, um, he got me a laminator that I haven't busted out quite yet, but I definitely will be busting that out. Uh, he got me a laminator and then some awls so I can do uh, maybe some book binding. I've got plans, yo's. I got plans. Two sticks. So that would be knitting, right? Am I right? Knitting is two, crochet is one. Y'all and your magic stick business. Yes! Yeah, see, I had, um, like, a book <laughs> that was, like, a how-to, I think it was knit, and I was like, maybe one day I'll do this, and I was like, you know what, from what I've watched people doing it, my brain does not understand. So, I wound up giving the kit to a friend, I was like, here. Because she actually does some knitting and some crocheting. And I was like, here you go. You can have this book. It has some stuff in it. 
it's from like the 70s but you know what maybe it will teach you some more stuff you didn't know and she's like thanks she was super excited it also came with um because it was like a kit so it came with like some little um i'm probably gonna call them the little thing little like spool looking things um they look like the little thread things for like thread obviously for thread um but like the little like boop boop like that shape but they're flat so it came with like a handful of those and then it came with a handful of like those little like the little ring counter things that you guys use to like keep track of how many rows I guess I guess it's for rows I don't know um and then like a whole bunch of different size sticks needles not sticks needles <laughs> I guess they're needles there was no yarn it was everything but the yarn um so it had like a book and then it had all this like other stuff and maybe that's why I just never tried it because I didn't have a yarn but I was like yeah I read I like flipped through the book at one point and it didn't make sense to my brain <laughs> I think this makes more sense because it's like it's like painting you know you do little lines or whatever so it's you know it's very much like this makes sense to me and I can see how it goes and I'm not starting from nothing I guess like I have even if it's like a canvas I have like the one blank page um, so maybe that's why this makes more sense. I don't know. I got nothing. Because I also do painting and I do um, quilling, which I need to get back into doing because I have, I have one project that I want to finish next month to, oh shit. This freaking thread keeps janking up. Um, I have one quilling piece I want to get out next month in the mail to the person and then I have another one that I want to finish by May for my mom oh come on yeah so all the projects I was actually just showing off uh, to NASA I was showing off my, my projects book. I've got a list of all my projects. I need to do my painting, finish up some paintings that I wanted to, f that I started, and then, um, do, uh, all my other gifts and stuff. And then I have, like, a bunch of stuff in there that's, like, not, um, started it's just ideas I'm like oh I want to try this and I want to do that because you know I'm a nerd and I have like 500 things I want to try and probably have ADHD and you know can't stick to one thing <laughs> can't stick to one thing for too long so I get bored but yeah I uh I have a lot of hobbies Um, the paintings that I'm referring to are Pokemon. Um, I started these Pokemon silhouettes. Hang on, let me grab one. Um, so I started these. They're just, uh, they're just like an acrylic, um, ink kind of painting. Where are they at? Pokemans. Here we are. So I started doing these guys. So they're like just these like, um, what you call it, silhouettes. And it's it's all just acrylic. And I started, uh, I did Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. And I have the outlines and stuff done for uh, Charmar, sorry, I don't have the outlines. I have the backgrounds done for Charmander, Charizard, and 
Charmeleon. Um, so I want to finish those, and then I also want to finish, I want to, like, complete the first nine. Like, you know, Squirtle, War Turtle, and, and Blastoise. Um, and then I also have a couple others that I've done uh, that are just kind of, like, I randomly did. So, eventually one day I would like to do, like, the first 150, but, you know, that's, you know, neither here nor there. <laughs> um... But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't forget where I left them, I just get distracted, sidetracked. I also really like drawing, um, I like, yeah, I like, uh, marker, like using marker and doing just, um, Pointillism drawings. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, I've got Doggo. She. I don't know where she's at. I heard her. She must have just walked by. She's big Doggo. So I have like. This is like an old piece, but. Uh, so that's just marker. And you can see, like, the flowers, like, pointillism-ish. So I've got some of those, but I want to get back to doing a bunch of different stuff again. Um, kind of go through phases where I'm like, oh, I'll try this, and I'll try this, and then I, like, loop back around. I'm like, yeah, I, I still just, like, marker and bristol and, you know, doing the normal So, yeah, so what kind of um, arts and stuff do you like to do? Obviously, you like to do the knitting with the two sticks. But do you do other forms of creativity? Water lilies. Yeah, that was like a, I don't remember why. I just like randomly picked something and did it one day. I don't remember what the inspiration was. And do you also, um, I mean, I know obviously you said you're streaming, well, trying to stream your um, Animal Crossing, but do you uh, stream other, other stuff like games and or um, art? Tell me about yourself. Knitting, cross stitch, coat, painting. Ooh. I made something with my sewing machine this last year, although it wasn't for a great reason. Um, uh, a friend of mine had complications with a pregnancy, so it was relating to that. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I, I remember, I was reminded why I don't, <laughs> don't game very well, or, uh, don't, um, not game, but don't, um, uh, sew very well. I was like, these aren't bad, but they aren't good. games, bot programming. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's been hard. It's um you know, I can't even imagine for her how it, how it's been cuz it's, you know, they they just buried him uh last weekend. Not this past one, but the one before on the 8th. So um yeah. So it was a hard end to the year, to an already difficult, stressful, you know, crazy year. 
you know. <sighs> yep. Alright, so I think I want one more little blue. Right, right, right here. I'm pretty good about that. Yeah, I know, and it's. Yep. We're just day by day. been last year was a uh, a mixed bag year <laughs> that's for sure my son turned one and then you know everything else kind of was crazy um but yeah my son's 15 months now and he is a lot <laughs> Let me see what other colors this has to be. So this is that was five. You mark it off so I know that I've done all the five. Yeah, it was it was just a mixed bag. It's the best way to describe it. So eight and nine. Let's see what colors those are. So I have on here. It's just clipped up here. I can take it down. It's already been like split up. Start with that. Scooby Doo, start with some nine. Yeah. That's for um, these little circles have some yellow in them. So you can see they've got some yellow. They've got some of this like light yellow and then the dark. I may have ordered more thread. Um, I just have like an arm that I have this like chucked over for now because it keeps it kind of straight and out of the way so I don't end up like tangling it on stuff. <laughs> so um, what's your week looking like? Anything exciting going on? Just three. Wait, what's this? Uh-oh, I have a string over here. What color is this one? Oh, this is the rest of that other one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so I saw they have, like, the little mini hoops that are, like, this big. And they do, like, little, like, earrings and stuff. Oh, like, that's really cool. I am not at that level yet. This is the five. Like I said, this is literally my first time um, embroidering. So, I am... 
I'm not terrible at it, I don't think. Like, I can follow directions. <laughs> virtual work sprint. Nice. Yeah, uh, so I had a, I was saying earlier, I had a job interview today, and if I do get the job, um, it'd be interesting, that's for sure. Is How many strings is this? It's three, okay. I think I might be able to, mm, Let's, we'll try this. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how far this gets me. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't annoy them. Yeah, I think it just depends on, like, I guess I would say, like, the culture. And if you're still, you know, get meeting all your deadlines and stuff. I mean, who cares what, if you're knitting in the middle of a meeting? Shh. Hey, Lee. How you doing, Lee? Lee? How you doing, Lee? Lee? This isn't going to go very far. So we'll see how it goes. Start. I bought some fancy cheese and you ate it. Nice. That sounds awesome. And you didn't share with the class? <clears throat> Missy? What did we say about bringing enough to share with the class? <laughs> Fine. Trying to decide where I want to go next with this. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this thread at the moment, but we'll see. All right, we'll just let's just, just go for it. No. I like fancy cheese, man. I've got. I need to make them. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I have got. Um, I got them from Publix, and they're. Um, they're like little cheese brie bites, brie cheese bites with like ras, like puffs with all that.
I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for book club on Sunday. Shoot, I haven't figured anything out for that. We always have like a fun little like spread. Does anybody know like a really good I feel like coffee's a good choice, but I don't think everybody drinks coffee. Um like a really good uh treat for the um Amazon. Uh, the interview went really well, actually. I basically got in. I nailed it. Um, I was the first interviewee, and they said that they were super impressed and that uh, I set the bar really high. <laughs> um, ooh, smoked Gruyere is really good, too. Gruyere? Gruyere? How do you pronounce it? Um, but yeah, they, they were very impressed. Uh, if everything goes well and I'm in the top, whatever number, three, four, five, whatever it is, um, then that's the first, um, first of three interviews. So I'll have to do two more interview interviews. Um, so yeah, that's how it went. Uh you know, bomb diggity. And then, um, yeah, so I think, I think I have a really, really good chance if I, um, at least of getting to the next round. Cause honestly, uh, so I have none of, <laughs> none of the requirements basically on paper, right? Um, you know, like, I don't have a degree in education, I don't have a degree in library sciences, um, you know, I don't have, like, any of that stuff, right? So nothing, nothing on paper. However, I used to work for a company, uh, for a non-profit, profit organization called, um, HeroSpark. And we ran after school programs uh, for kids doing homework help, and then we would like teach them games and, and whatnot, right? And my program I ran at that library branch where I'm interviewing. So they know me, they know like how I handle the kids, you know, because they watched me four days a week run my room you know with the students um so uh yeah it's a uh, the, they call it yips but it's youth program services youth program specialist sorry youth program certainly like services that doesn't sorry youth program specialist uh i basically would be running, designing, creating, etc. all of the um, programs for kids and teens at, at that branch as well as helping add to their um, they have like a like a Wikipedia basically for internally um, for all all the branches to pull from. Thanks. I like to think I would be. <laughs> It's funny because they're like, they told me for the interview process, they said, hey, you're going to need to create a, um, uh, they told me you're going to have to create and an demo like a program. I was like, okay, not a problem, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll come with it. And it said in the email, like, come with all your promotional material, blah, 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 like, be prepared. Okay. So I had... I don't have it here because I left it with them, but I have the extra dice. So I did the story dice, right? And where's the extra dice? They might be downstairs still. Oh, no, that's not them. Where did I put those dice? I don't know. It's basically like these little cubes. And then you have a coordinating paper. 
are those cubes? I don't know where they're at. Um, but basically there's like matching dice like you would have. Um, so the kids would get these four colored papers, one of each color, and then they also have a matching dice color. And basically they draw um, on each of the six sides. So maybe on one side they draw like a snowflake, you know, like this would be weather. So you do weather, and then on the other side you draw like a snowflake, a sun, a raindrop, um, maybe like a little wind symbol, you know, whatever. And then you label it like sunny, rainy, cold, hot, you know, whatever you want to do. And then another one you would do, you could do like something else, like a different theme. And then they can use those to, you would roll, you can roll all four of them at the same time if you need um, to like come up with a story or you can, you know, maybe you're stuck on a part in your story that you like you're writing that you don't know. Um, these are two different colors. Um, you know, maybe you, you're stuck on like, oh, I don't know when this would take place. You can roll your dice if you have one that's for like a time of day or time of year. Um, so yeah, there's like different themes, but basically it, the kids would be making their own. And then after that, they would get to play with them. So I had a baggie that had the dice created like a set of, you know, I made my own set of dice. And then I had like a demo bag that had, you know, the four blank cards with the four blank dice. And then I had um, my script, because it said to come with a script. They had all the information on it. I had handouts. <laughs> I had flyers. So basically it's like if they said, here's, you know, go run a program, I could be like, all right, here you are. Here's my program. And when they're like, okay, did you bring a program to demo? I was like, I did. I made a program called Story Dice, and, you know, presented everything. And they're like, wow, well, I'm impressed. Like, I followed the assignment. <laughs> don't, don't know what to tell you. You guys told me to come prepared. Like, I'm just doing what you asked. So, we'll see. Hopefully. Like I said, I, I think I have a good chance at least getting to the next round of, like, interviews and stuff. I think it'll just depend on, like, the only thing would be if somebody applies that's, like, done this before. Um, like, literally this exact position. Or has, a, like, a master's in education. Or has a master's in, like, library science or something. You know, like, I feel like it would have to be something kind of extraordinary because I do have the like like they know me and they've seen me like how I can work and everything they know my work ethic but they said they have interviews all this week and next week um, and all the librarians that you know work there we're all excited to see they're like oh my gosh Rachel hi they were all excited to see me, and they were asking me all about, you know, Little Man, and I was showing them pictures and stuff. I hung out for a few minutes afterwards. So, yeah, I think... I'll just have to come up with more questions. Um, you know, like, at the end of the interview, when they're like, do you have any questions? Uh, so Lee, I took your, your advice and asked like what my freedom on programming was and they were like, oh, that's a really good question. <laughs> no worries. Thank you for dropping in and chatting. I appreciate it, community. Have a great night. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining. Welcome on in. Our newest little bee, Buzz Buzz. Actually, what time is it? 10.45? Okay, I'll probably go just a few more minutes. Um, maybe finish this section and like finish up this, this strand. 
and then uh, call it a night, okay? So I won't be going too much longer. Not that I have an early morning. I have nothing going on in the morning, thankfully. Um, just gotta get little man up, and his appointment's not till the afternoon, so. And I'll have to figure out a way I can do, like, a, a tour at some point, since everybody wants to see the workshop in the garage. We'll have to figure out a way to do a tour. Maybe I'll have to, like, pre-record it and then upload it as, like, a premiere as part of, like, a stream or something. Could probably do that. Whoa, easy killer. That way I can show you all where, where the magic happens. I was like I say, he's got in his office, he's got two 3D printers. And then out in the garage we have another 3D printer. And the CNC machine, the furnace, the forge, the kilns, all the power tools, uh, like lots of power tools. I like power tools too. Mmm, power tools. They're fun. So yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to do a tour of it at some point. So y'all can see all the craziness that we can do. <laughs> Lily, how's your day been going? What's going on? And how's the job hunt going? Did you start a new job or are you still um, interviewing and looking? Busy? Busy, busy, busy. Oh, they call it a snow day. We don't get snow days. It was cold today, though. But we don't get snow days. It wasn't nearly as cold here as it was there. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, wow. So is that what it is? Like when they do snow days, everybody has to do like online learning for the day or something? I feel like that would be more disruptive than just having a day off. I like flip flop between online and, oh, okay. Makes sense. I mean, probably before now, it wasn't easily conceived of to flip back and forth, but, you know, with COVID now. Gotcha. Are you guys on um, year-round schooling? Or are you on... I forget. I know I've probably asked this before. Snow. Darn snow. Curse you, snow. No, September, June. Oh, okay. Got it. Right, so you guys just start late, much later than we do. Because we start in... August. Um, yeah, we usually start, like, right at the beginning of August. I guess. The first week of August. Yeah, like, the very beginning. I think our kids usually go back around, like, August... I want to say, like, August 3rd, for some reason. 
Um, but that just might have been one year. It was August 3rd. But yeah, it's, it's like the very beginning of August is when our students like start back. And then they're usually out by like mid-May, I think. But that's also because uh, May is when um, hurricane season starts. So I think that has something to do with why our school go that that time from. However, which is dumb, because August and September are usually more active for hurricanes. So you'd think that they would want to have kids not in school when there's hurricanes, because then there's hurricanes. <laughs> I don't know. Florida's weird. I never claim to understand how this damn state works. Yeah. Yeah, like, August is way more active than May. There's probably a logical reason at one point why our schools started when they did, but I don't know. It has since been lost to the tales of time. Or some nonsense like that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Y'all. Ignore me. <laughs> this lighter. Okay, so this is this swirl here is lighter. some yellow in it. White and yellow. Tired of starting to hit me. Getting sleepy, yo's. That's also because I did get up not super early today, but I got up at a normal, reasonable human time. It's Eight o'clock. <laughs> got ready and then went and had the interview and then you know did my daily daily dayness wrangling baby space in here still. Gotta get rid of that white space. We don't want it as white space. I don't anyways. So what else you got on your uh, agenda for the week, Lily? Anything exciting? I saying I just got tomorrow's little man's 15 month appointment. Thursday I got some therapy for myself. Uh, Friday's nothing. Saturday, Numenera. I'll be streaming Numenera on here on Saturday. Uh, 2 o'clock Eastern. Until probably like 6 o'clock Eastern. And then uh, Sunday I have book club in the afternoon. But then... Sunday night, I'll be streaming, I'll be on, um, Goat Gaming Syndicate channel, 
we'll be having our first session of our Star Wars game, where we're all playing Ewoks. In <laughs> okay, gotcha. You got a lot of orders coming in? That's good, though. I mean, at least you're getting a lot of traction and business still. Getting that business. Bees nice lady. Trying to juggle, yep. Yep. So my brother, I don't know if I'm, I mentioned it earlier, I don't know if you were in, my brother got me some awls for Christmas. Yeah, getting a bit harder. It's cause you're popular, lady. <laughs> Um, and he was like, I got you these things. And I, when I opened them, you know, I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah, it's, it's for book binding and stuff and, you know, poking holes and stuff. And he's like, uh-huh. Okay, then. <laughs> he's like super, super confused. Yeah, I don't know where I put them actually. I think I could put them on my bookshelf, but I don't see them. I'll have to figure out where I where I stowed them away at. Cause like I can't. Yeah, let me see real quick. I think, like I said, I think I put them over here. Cause I can't keep them out because Tiny Human picks up literally everything. I <laughs> the other day. I turned around and he'd come running in my office, which is fine, you know, I got I got stuff down low that he could play with, you know, like glue sticks and whatever. Um, I thought I'd set them up here, but I don't see him. Um, no, 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 he, he grabbed these and was holding them over his head like a little trophy and was like, you know, snipping them. I'm like, nope, what are you doing, child? Put that down. <laughs> Where did I put those? Now I'm worried that they're in reach of... Oh yeah, he's... <sighs> <sighs> Gotta keep a sharp eye on that one, because he is uh, walking, which means he's touching literally everything he, can, everything he can get his tiny little hands on, and then, you know, playing with it. And I'll have to post one of the, pict the pictures, one of the videos, of him that I took today, um, he discovered uh, spinning around and getting dizzy. Um, so he kept just like spinning in circles until he would fall over and <laughs> and he'd just crack up. So it was it was pretty adorable. Hang on, I think it might they might be. Hang on, I gotta take my headset off for a second because I think they're just out of reach. One second. I found him. Yeah, so he, I'll, I'll post it to the Discord. Um, but these are the ones he got me. It just says, pack of four gourd-shaped wood. D3 
DIY handmade gourd all. Nothing fancy. It's no pokey. Step, 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 step. Step, step, step. Ah, tink, tink, tink. I'm ready. Ready for stabbing. Hold on. I need one in each hand. But yeah, I definitely cannot leave these down where he would reach them. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Uh oh, I don't know where that little cover just went. Oh, there it is. Yeah, my office is. Yeah. He would find it. He's. Ugh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. He's, um. Likes to get into literally anything he can touch. Uh, so. It's real fun. Because I'll turn around and I'll be like, what do you have in your hands? And he's just like, you know, brandishing scissors or whatever. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Can we, can we not? Um. So. It's fun. But he's so stinking cute. So cute. Curse him and his cuteness. He, uh, really likes going outside, and he's starting to learn, like, outside, uh, means, like, out back, and then, like, uh, going for a walk means, like, out front, you know, like, walking around the neighborhood, and that, like, if I say, you gotta go upstairs, you know, like, we gotta go change your diaper, he knows, like, where the stairs, like, what's upstairs now, um, you know, so he'll go and stand by the, because we have a gate at the bottom of the stairs, so he'll stand by the gate and wait for me to, like, open it, so he can climb up the stairs, so that's really, really cute. <laughs> He's not speaking yet, still. It's just a matter of time. Um. Yeah, he'll... If we're upstairs, like, hanging out, doing stuff, and I'm like, Sophie, do you want to go outside? Oh, yeah, there's so much understanding. He... No matter what he's doing, it's hilarious. Like, he could be sitting there just like, eh, 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 he, like, playing with scissors. And I'm like, Sophie, you want to go outside? And he just, like, drops it and, like, starts waddling to the back door. It's so weird. <laughs> super cute, but super weird. Um, because he always wants to go outside with his doggy. But yeah, he definitely, definitely understands things. Even if he's not talking. Which I think my, the doctor tomorrow's, the pediatrician's gonna be like, is he talking? And I'll be like, nope, but I know he understands stuff. He kind of says like mama and dada. I swear it sounded like he was saying hi, uh, yesterday. And yeah. But yeah, he's definitely picking up on a lot of words, um... We'll start dancing. Like, I'll start singing. You know, you make me want to shout. Throw my hands up. And he starts holding his hands up in the air. And, like, walking around with his hands up. <laughs> I'm a cute goofy. But so cute. Yeah, you missed it. We were talking earlier about in a flowers chat. Because I was saying that, uh between him and I, we go through three gallons of milk a week. Um, I drink like a gallon of milk a week, and I'm pretty sure he's drinking close to two, because I'm buying three a week. So, we, we drink a lot of milk in this household. Look, uh, m milk. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he's in the, um, kind of in the in-between right now, where he's not fully eating, like, all regular food still. Like, he's really kind of picky about what he's eating. Um, so I'll give him, like, yogurt and, like, little pieces of fruit and, um, you know, like, pouches and stuff. And he'll kind of, like, eat it. 
and then when he's like acting like he's done I'll give him like a four ounce bottle and he like sucks it down so I'm like okay well I guess you know I don't want you to be hungry and I mean obviously he's not hungry he's, he's a chunk but I want to make sure he gets enough calories <laughs> And enough protein and fat and all the good stuff that he's supposed to have as a tiny human. Because he's supposed to be, if I recall, it's like 40, 40 calories per inch like of height for his age or something. And when I did the math, he's supposed to be getting like 1,400 calories a day. And I'm like, there's no way he's eating that many calories. No way. Because like... He maybe eats like a pouch of yogurt at a time. He's like two feet tall. I think last time I, he measured, he was at like 20, I want to say he was like 23 and a half inches, and that was at his 12 month appointment back in uh, October. And he's definitely taller now. But yeah, if I had to guess, he's he's like two feet. Somewhere around there. So like 24 inches or so. Um, I'll find out tomorrow for sure. And I think he's weighing in around 27 pounds. 27 to 29 pounds. He's a thick little man. Little meatball. Yeah. We'll see what his uh, percentages are. Because I know the last time is one year he was at... In October. He was at 90... I think it was like 95% weight. <laughs> but only like 50% height. And I was like, he's a meatball. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You know, he's young still, it's fine. But he's a thick little boy. So I'm trying to get back around. Where am I at? Um, maybe I'll start going up that way. Grab this girl without being disrespectful. Damn, girl. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Lee, you'll have to remind me um, to send you... I need to send it to you and uh, NASA, but I'm working on a thing. A super secret project. I, I don't think she's on right anymore. I think she already went to bed. But for Miss Gloom, she's probably could say that. She might still be lurking, but I'll have to send you what it looks like. I'm hoping to have it done by February. Well, by mid February. Yeah. They said, I don't think she's on anymore. I think she went to bed. But just in case she's still creeping. Because she's a creeper. She's a creep. Just kidding. Love you, Miss Gloom. <laughs> the girl you've ever seen before. Nothing you can compare to your neighborhood. The girls to describe. Disrespectful! Oh. So, I stream... Try to stream every Tuesday, right? 
And I've been telling my husband, you know, for a while, I'm like, yeah, it's Tuesday. I stream on Tuesdays, remember? And yet every Tuesday, same thing. We go, because we always put the baby down, and then we usually get ice cream and, like, watch a show or whatever. And so every Tuesday, he's like, ice cream? And I'm like, you can have ice cream. And he's like, uh, you don't want to have ice cream? And I'm like, no. What what day is it? And he's like, uh, Tuesday? And I'm like, what do I do on Tuesdays? <gasps> Shattered tabletop with the raid? Welcome on in, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid, y'all. I appreciate it. I am Jade Val, and I'm working on some embroidery and uh, just chatting about what's going on with life and such. How was your stream? Did anybody die? Did rocks fall and everybody die? <laughs> Welcome on in. It went good. Only the bad guys. That's good. That's good. That's successful. Successful table topping then. The good guys. Yeah, like, that's right, because they are playing the bad guys, aren't they? <laughs> so they're, um, that system they play is Shattered Dawn. Are you playing first edition or second edition of Shattered Dawn? Which is, um,. Their, their own system uh, but it is available second edition, okay uh, but it is available uh, let me make sure you have link permissions real quick if you want to drop any links for your your stuff just shout out let me just make sure what is it? Permissions? Per allow? How do you do it? Oh, nice! Nice, nice, nice. Actually, I don't want you to get flagged. Uh, permit. I don't know if that did anything. I don't think that did anything. What are my options? Hang on. Y'all, do you know how to let somebody, make sure somebody can post a link? Try posting a link. See if that'll let you. No. Okay. Dang it. How do you, how do you, anybody know how to do it? Restrict. Unrestrict. Here we go. Let's try unrestrict. Alright, give that a shot now. We'll see if that works. Because things... I had them off because... Oh, is that what the dots are? <laughs> I want you to share your links, man. Is it all just on your website? Because I feel like I have it somewhere. Of course, it brought up a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't want. I typed in things. There we are. Alright. There we are. Let me. It's actually shatteredtabletopgames.com. But no worries. No worries. Y'all, this is Shattered. Dawn has their. Um, all their stuff. So there's the podcast. There's information about um, the the game. How to pl how to create the characters and everything. Oh, you want some dice? Woo! Welcome in, Rainbow. 
Rainbow Mike Gaming. I appreciate you popping on by. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm working on some embroidery. Also, guys, uh, be sure to follow Shattered Tabletop Games as well as Rainbow Mike Gaming. Sorry, I'm really slow right now. Did that is that right? Rainbow Mike Gaming. Yep. Okay, good. I did type it right. Good. Uh, so she does um, some voiceover stuff, and she wears cool wigs. And last you were playing. Was it a Resident Evil game? Have you been recently playing a Resident Evil? I want to say like four? Two? It was Resident Evil. You were shooting zombies. I do know that. Okay. I'm like, wait, is my brain misremembering? Oh my gosh. It's late, okay? It's been a day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, I was saying earlier, I started the day by getting up and going to an interview, which went really well. Um, but I won't hear back for a week or two, um, and then if it did go really well, like I think it did, I'll be in the top three to five people or whatever, and I'll go for a second and then a third interview. Um, I think I have a good chance of getting the job, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, welcome on in. Yeah, she does, uh, sweet, sweet gamings. Um, her stream is way more put together than mine. <laughs> She's got awesome wigs does some voiceover work. I think you said you have a game coming out that you did some voiceover for, if I'm recalling. I, was it a game or a show? In two days. Oh, that's super exciting. Congratulations. That's awesome. My sure is lovely. Thank you. It's it's basic. Well, for the art one, it's very basic. I have a little bit more going on for the the Vigi games, but for art, I keep it simple so that I don't have to worry about everything else. <laughs> That's super, super exciting. So this is, um, this is some embroidery I've been doing. Um, it is just a kit. It's, um, just this little kit that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. Um, I've been wanting to try embroidery, so this is my first stab at it. <laughs> Literally. Um, and I started this, I think, like, in the week between Christmas and, and New Year's, somewhere in there. Um... I think I started it one of those days. So I th I th I'm enjoying it. I think I'm pretty decent considering. It's kind of like painting, um, which I do other, for those of you who've never been in before, um, I am a variety streamer. I do art, I do gaming. Um, I, For a while I was doing every Tuesday, I was doing art. And how every Saturday I was doing um, like a video game. I'm trying to get back on that schedule again, uh, but I have a toddler, so that's how that goes. <laughs> you know, that's what I thought, and then I tried it, and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's not that bad. It's just one little thread at a time. If you could draw a little line at a time, you can do a thread at a time, right? Um. Granted, this is a kit, so it's basically just like a color by number. <laughs> aww, aww. I actually got my start with kids, like working with kids, in elementary school. Um, so in, um, I've always loved working with kids, um, even when I was a kid. In third grade at the school I was at, they didn't have any kind of like, what do you call it, um, gifted class or anything. And I was, I was a big reader and stuff, so I was like kind of ahead of the curve as far as like reading and, uh, whatnot. So they would send me to a first grader 
um, they had me tutoring a first grader when I was in like third grade. Um, and I would go and I would just like sit and read with her and then give her stickers when she was done. Um, and then when we moved to where I grew up, like, you know, from third grade on, um, the elementary school I went to had a, uh, like a special needs room that had, you know, students with learning disabilities, um, you know, like autism, um, just, you know, various disabilities, either physical or mental. Um, and there's like, I'd say there's maybe like 10 or 12 kids in there, students in there. Um, and then like two or three teachers and in fourth and fifth grade, you know, cause this is elementary school, I actually, when I would get done with my classwork, would go and help out in the room. So whatever time of day it was, you know, if that was like their lunch time, I would help them like sit and eat lunch and then clean up. Or if it was, um, they had like activity time where they would get to like play with, um, like sensory bins. Uh, so we'd do that. And then, you know, if they had like a field trip day, um, if I knew in advance, I could get my work done for my other, like my regular classes for the week and then go, you know, on a field trip with them. So I got to go on like special field trips. And then I did it in middle school. Um, I didn't do it in high school though. All right, Lily, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you hopping on in. Um, I'm torn. I want to do a little bit more, but I also should probably go to bed. Because if I start here and I come down and around, I might only need like one more strand or one more, I don't know. I don't know the terms. Thread, strand. So I think, hold on, I think one thread, one thread is six strands but I've been doing two or three strands at a time so basically one of these threads I can get two or three uses out of two or three groups I don't know have a good night uh, for anybody who is interested, I'm going to go real quick, um, go ahead and uh, let you guys know on Saturday. Well, first, real quick, shout out to Lily if she's still here. If not, Lily Art. She is one of the Variety Bees, and she does uh, streaming on Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays. I think that's it. Um, but she does book binding, uh, primarily, and occasionally gaming, um, but a lot of book binding related activities, and she's really, really cool to watch. Um, we also have, in the Variety Bees, we have Miss Gloom, who streams usually on Sundays and Wednesdays, uh, doing art. Uh, she does cross-stitching and, um, like, shrinky dinks, and what else has she done? Markers, coloring, painting... And then she also does gaming. Um, so that's one of the other varieties. That's one of the groups I'm in, uh, which is the varieties. And um, really, really fun group of folks who do a variety of arts and crafts and gaming and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in joining, that is the link to our Discord. Um, I'm also part of, I need to get a link, make a little shout out for this, but I'm also a part of the Goat Gaming Syndicate and how do I get people to join? How do I, where do I get a link for this dang place? <laughs> Invite people, here we are. Copy. Alright, someone just drop a link in the chat. I need to make a nightbot com command. Um, but Goat Gaming Syndicate. That's our Discord for that, and that is a bunch of gamers, um, specifically tabletop gaming uh, related uh, folks who play the D&D, &D, the Star Wars, the Star Trek, the Shattered Tabletops, Shattered Dawn, um, and all sorts of other stuff. 
Um, for that group, I'm actually on Saturday going to be running a one-shot of Numenera on my channel uh, from 2 to 6 p.m. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be playing in a one, sorry, not in a one-shot, but in a campaign. And it's the first session of uh, our Star Wars Revised Edition, where we're all playing Ewoks. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, most of us, if not all of us in the group, have made some sort of cosplay. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, that's going to be a, a, one Sunday a month. And this Sunday will be the first, uh, first session of that. So definitely be sure to check it out. If you're interested in any kind of tabletop gaming, go ahead and join. You can find other like-minded individuals who are... Um, not only interested in playing but also interested in running at the moment is this fair to say shattered tabletop that we have more uh gms than we have players <laughs> i feel like i feel like that's kind of the case we've got more gms than players um but for that i am doing numenera this month cypher system next month in february in march i'm going to be doing some of the strange and then march april may i am hoping to run Monster Care Squad, uh, June, July, August, I'm planning to run, sorry, July, August, September, I'm planning to run Zhang Shi, which is, I have the hard copy here, I'll show you guys, for anybody who's not aware of this, it's pretty, pretty cool, it's pretty cool looking, and apparently, It's going to be a little bit darker, um, but I'll be running this in, uh, what did I say, July, no, August, September, no, July, August, September, and then October, November, December, I'm hoping to run um, Wander Home, Wander Home, Wander Home, so, yeah, I just got this in the mail like two weeks ago, and I've kind of started flipping through it. Uh, the premise is that you are a, a Chinese family. It's the 1920s. You're a Chinese family running your um, Chinese restaurant during the day. And at night, you are dealing with the Zhangxi. Um, I might be mispronouncing it. And if I am, I am so very sorry. Um, but you are dealing with them at night, which are hopping vampires. So... That's that's stuff I'm going to be running coming up in the next while. Um, what else do I got going on as far as gaming? I don't think I have much else. If you guys are interested in joining, let me know. I can get you guys Discord links and such. Or I can get you links to join some of my one-shots if you're interested in trying out Cypher System or The Strange. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead. My lamp's dying here. A little lamp. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Let's see who is streaming and we can throw them a raid. Just mute. There we go. Let's see what we got. We got the Gaming William, Cool Cat Terry, Vancouver by Night Perception Studio. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what, we'll do the Gaming William. I don't know where I follow this person from, but they are playing the Elder Scrolls, um, some Skyrim, but they are doing the Twitch integration, so you can vote on, like, crazy things to happen. Uh, so let's, sorry, I'm trying to get my, my link, so here's the raid, raid, so let's go ahead and show some love to the Gaming William, boop. There we are. Oh, they only have... Oh, I just realized they have... S I think it's follower-only chat, so it shouldn't be a problem. Should still be able to... To do it. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, stopping in, saying hi, all that good stuff. I appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.